Hello fellas, Peggy Day here. Okay guys, uh, topic for today's video will be number three on my German, uh, uh, Ravel Germany, Ravel uh, 1150 scale German cadet ship, Gornsbuck. Okay guys, uh, as to the build, I haven't been doing too much on it. I have done a little bit. I made some leeway. I got the decks primed. And I got a, uh, I got a primed, painted, applied a wash on it. All the colors of the hull is all done. I may have showed that in the last video, I think. I'm quite sure I did. Anyway, uh, this build is going slowly. I've been too much time on the Isabella. I'm getting the Isabella prepared for painting on the waterline. I do a lot of filling here and there and mass on the bottom of the hull. We'll take a little sneak preview of that during the. Uh, the view of this uh, video for the uh, topic of today. Okay guys, uh, so far, thus far the kit, it's not a bad kit, it goes together quite easy, a lot of small parts to it. And that's a beautiful looking ship as you can see. And um, what I'm going to do is after I uh, put all the deck fittings on this thing, I'm going to give this thing a whitewash on the side of the hull. And that whitewash right there will go ahead and uh, kind of kind of tone down the green waterline on it too. And because that's all white does uh, wash out pretty much and uh, does have a lot of fading contents to it to the pigments of the white paint. But I figured that's good wash of white on this thing and really spruced up a little bit. And uh, that'll follow during the build. But thus far in the construction, I got the foc'sle all done. I got the capstans all done. I got the uh, I got the the uh, capstans all done, and also got the pipe rails done forward. All it needs is uh, two night heads and uh, running lights, which are done already, which got to be painted and detailed out separately before you install on the model. Decks have been secured to the hull. All details are paid out using green, and uh, it's come on quite well. <clears throat> and we're gonna go over here and take a look at it right now. What? All right, guys, here she is. We got the decks on, the bowsprit's on, and we we'll get a little closer here. I see you guys see a little better. There we go. That's that's excellent right there. You can see how I, how the deck looks really good. Gave it a ply of wash on there. And uh, it's not as far as I got on it. I got all the details up forward on as you can see. And um, goes quite well. No fit issues at all. I ran into a very minimal flash on it. This will make a very very detailed subject when done. I go ahead and elected what I'm going to do with this thing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, build it as for out of the box. And uh, since it's plastic and everything, it's going to be waste designed. Uh, I'm not going to go out of the way to do anything extra to this thing because it allows more time and I got, I, although I do have a lot of time, but I got other bills that need to be, have attention to paint on it. And uh, as attention to detail this kid, it's very, very highly detailed. I like this. I look at it, it reminds me of the, the old uh, World War II uh, Raider uh, SCMS uh, C Adler, which was a sister ship to the Gorsebook, and um, also the uh, the Coast Guard Cutter Eagle. It also reminds you of the Danmark, which I got to get on. It's in the rigging stage now. I think I got the backstage done now, but uh, I will bring out that Danmark and finish it up. Anybody's got this kit in their stash, building it, or even considering it. I take up a Frankie Day. It's a it's an excellent kit. 
and I think you'll you'll really enjoy it. It goes together very well, and uh, like I said, no fit issues. A lot of small detail painting is involved on it, make it look white. But like I said, I'm gonna give a nice a nice white wash on the exterior of the of the hull, and uh, that'll really uh, kind of tone it down a little bit and bring a uh, make it look uh, pretty authentic. And uh, the sails are gorgeous on this kit. When this thing is done, it's going to be a very gorgeous model. And uh, so I'll probably do a little work on this this evening when I get off work. But right now, uh, my goal right now with Isabella is to get that water line all prepared. And we'll take a look at the Isabella right over here. I got the the hull painted. I got mask tape where the water lines at. The whole water, the whole bottom of the keel using a file, a lot of sandpaper, and a file a straight using a straight edge uh, sanding boards. I got all the planks flush to each other and I glue I put I put glue between the planks. And what I did, I went ahead and gave it a I put a coat of uh, a bondo on it, bondo glazing putty. When it dried, I sanded up real well and I went back and used spackle. And that spackle really filled in good and also makes a good base coat for antique white. So the water line is going to be flush and it's going to be completely finished like a finished hull. And uh, that's where the water line is going to be. It's going to be like an antique white. We use white paint with just a hint of brown. Just a hint of brown, not very much. Make it look more white than brown. What does oxidize is that, uh, of that, that white because they used tallow. The windows in the 15th century, there was no such thing as, as copper sheathing. And uh, so in the 18th century, that's when they uh, started coming out with that. But I'm very happy, very pleased. It's, I got the, 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 worst of, the worst of this thing is done. So all that's left is just a uh, build onward. Okay, back to the gorge porch. As you can see, her head on. Very sharp prow she has. A very beautiful, clean ship she is. And a very beautiful ship she is. Okay, guys, we'll sing the video back to yours truly. This concludes video three of the build update build of the Ravel 1150 scale German cadet ship Gorgebook. And, uh,. We'll bring back the camera yours truly. Okay, here he is, guys. One more time again. Okay, guys, on the next video, I think Sunday's going to be a very, very good day for me to uh, make an online video on the on the Victor. And uh, I haven't done, I haven't made any videos that I've even worked on since I've been on the Isabella. So my mind is actually on the Isabella. And eventually I'll wander off and get stuff done. And uh, so, my goal is Bell to get this thing done as much as I can, and because um, I don't want this thing to deteriorate. So far, the worst of the construction of that kid is all done. I mean, it's, it's all behind me, and everything else is goes forward. Okay, guys. Um, on this gorge hook right here, I need to do a little touch-up painting on it, as I can see on it. And uh, I tell you, every, time, every time I keep looking at it, I can see some holidays pop up here and there. And, uh, and my is getting very critical. I'm a very critic of my own work. And uh, right now I'm slowing down a little bit, not going full speed ahead, you know. And uh, I'm getting about three or four done at the same time. And uh, I got other bills that need to be finished up on too. I ran into a little Ravel old iron size, one, one eight scale. <laughs> All you gotta do is, like out of the cutting saw, I just gotta rig the business mask, the Spencer mask, and she's done. So I'll, I'm gonna save that for later on, but uh, I'm gonna concentrate what I got on the plate right now, and then move onward. And I gotta get Martin's 410 uh, buddy uh, buddy group build of the measurement, get that in the way, and get that done, and paint it out. And I can start on the 148 scale monitor pro monitor kit. Okay, guys, on video four. Well, the gorge book right here, I shall have the whole, the whole hull, everything all done. And uh, so I'll be uh, working on the masks and get them all prepared for insulation and painting. And uh, the rest of it will follow. 
and uh, I dug during that last stop, that last stash pile crash I had. I unearthed two big old huge 132nd scale vacuform kits. Uh, one's a B17, 132nd scale of vacuform. I think it's by ID Vacuforms. And a Lockheed Hudson bomber I got. So I'll probably make a video of those two, and that might be a bill down the road. And uh, so right now I gotta concentrate on these ships, get these things all to my liking, and I can mothball them for a while and go on to something else and come back and finish them up later. Okay, guys, uh, this, this is concludes today's video, the video three on the Gorge Pick. Uh, and like I said more later in the video right there, if anybody's uh, got one of these or building one or like considering it, it's a good kit. You'll find it very, very uh, relaxing to build. And it's a very beautiful ship, a very clean ship, too. Okay, guys, this is Pick Day signing off. God bless you guys. Make Mama happy. Please subscribe. Happy modeling. And we'll catch you on the next vid. So this Sunday is going to be a, it's going to be a, a video on the uh, on my um, Gorge book on my uh, Isabella. That'd be video video four be coming up. So so stay tuned for video four. I have that for you Sunday. And Sunday evening we're going to have another video. I believe it'll be video uh, five. On the Airfix 176 scale Victor build, and um, more videos to come. Okay, guys. Again, thank you, Day. Signing off. Make Mama happy. I'm out of here, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. So stay tuned Sunday for a video on the uh, Isabella, the famous building boat Spanish galleon, uh, the Sea of the Cortez. <laughs> Bye, boys. Take care, fellas. God bless you guys.